ruthless and kind. I suppose we always know the story from the beginning, and I suppose it is different having lived it. I was glad to give you what is it a place in this time of mind that does not pass the pulse as comes down from your mind. You contain so much information, I will bury you as best I can. I would take you to the river if I could. Were your life elapsed, lovers hands unclasped, surely your time here has eclipsed you as a cloud pulls away from no moon kissing the landscape small amphibious orchestras with a colder light than the divine makes you in the spaces of the most beautiful film that has ever been made in the solitude. The echoes of your face are the only memories traced in the early hours when you wait either to walk to the room where he sleeps or escape like holy people walking through the water are swept away. by the sea. Where do you go in the night dark? Dramas are thick, rehearsals it is true. What they say, that love doesn't die. Of an embittered soil, there grows nothing but in the lovely darkness of late. May I be just be forgotten by you there, no sure of blessing. Would it be true the sadness is our motionless for you? particular to the places where one must be still so that the world is the one who will be. Today I felt so deep sad as a traveler to be the lot of being secular to the existence of the air when justice is so that the state's world is the most universal century. The sister there I felt so deep sad as a world about being the lot of being so unassembly was not cold enough to any man such as to say his possessions. There grows nothing but in the lovely darkness of late May I be just in the ground they say That love does not seem
And lights. <laughs> All right, give it up one more time for Elena Bots, everybody. I guess I'm the next performer. I don't really have an introduction for that. I can tell you a little bit about myself. I host Voiceless Readings on Thursdays, as I said already. I have two books that I have published through my uh, independent press, titled End Paper Press. Um, they're available in the back. My second one is available over there. It is $5. Please buy a copy and support your local artist. Um, that's what I'm going to be reading from tonight, and I don't have any other foreplay, so let's just get to it. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. What's your name again? My name is Noah David Roberts, if you didn't catch it the first four times. <laughs> uh, let me tell you about uh, a little bit about this book before... I get into it because it's kind of a concept, con conceptual thing. Uh, Strips was conceived and written over the course of three years. Originally written on receipt scrolls that through a typewriter, the text is unedited, raw, and untouched from the original. As we cannot go back and change what we have done in life, so it is with the poem. Strips must remain unchanged from the original choices. Typos and all are included. The poem serves as a catalog of the author's life over the course of writing the poem. That would be me. Okay, let's get into this. My poem is not my poem. I am not I. Who is I? I, poem, your poem, is who I am because I have heard poet in a dream and paralyzed at the thought. Seen my walls catch flame and cackled at the sight. Gazed at the poltergeist leering at me in the corner. Overcome my own fear of my own poltergeist leering back at me from the mirror in the empty bath. I am not penitent. I have subverted myself. And not only myself has subverted this subversive exterior of a world subverting me as I reject mediocre life. I think of you in depress. A ghost hanging always above the heads of the unfortunate. For the girl I had wanted to love when I were a mind and not a poem. For the one I thought to have wronged in the reel of the cortex, a diluted reel, it is a crumble of marble or regret. I tend to vomit when there is enough bile in the throat. I was one body of many bodies, of many desaturated fears, because I did not hope to turn again the rats in the city. I eat charcoal, experience of hallucinogens. I did not turn toward that candle. A walking shadow is she now in memory or image, melancholia. Melancholia for the girl I had wanted to love at once here and not here when I were a mind and not a poem. When I were a body and not yet a poem given into the propaganda of the state, I gave into the propaganda of the state. Venomous advertisements, New York City billboards and makeup not perfect, not perfect, ignorant to masses and manipulation, printing ideology and expensive papers, the lie of, the real of, the real has been evicted, pushed out like a spinal surgery, I lost my memory, tainted by mania of U.S., I think it is in the images of the true mind. I hope in cold water tenement she dreams of reality. So, the arrhythmia then. There, these strains of sutured skin dripping, dripping from, from the filleted trees. A palpitation of my organs, organs in, in boxes where, where she, she can't, can't breathe, she can't breathe, she can't. Breathe black lungs, lungs, puncture under, puncture under, spears and spears and spikes, spikes of trees. So the arrhythmia then, I have taped my palms to that purity, that desire, desire, desire. Ulysses, dead again, murdered his own family with a quiver of dollar arrows. 
If I shall turn again, let me turn. The sun burns half as bright as the fires in the street. The pillars of agony, of ruin, pillars of the body. If I shall turn again, then I shall not look away, because I have heard the voice whisper into my ear, because I have heard the sounds of street lamps flickering yellow, because if I shall hope to become a body from when I was once a poem, then the word shall become the light. These spiders which compose my body and scramble about my insides. What if they decide one day that it's not worth it and run off toward the dank corners in the bathroom, hide in my curtains, watch me from the heights of my room. I become dead air when the spiders which compose my body scramble from my organs. What images I witness, what riddle is, what riddle is not. What in mind's frazzled holds electric hand? What ink leaks into my pocket? What wind in the shore of the cemetery of the elegy? What has been composed a million years before a million times? What instinctual reactions in this time of need? What women prowl the streets like cats? What metal inserts the skin? What endless cycles? What endless cycles? What endless cycles of unlearning? I have already turned again. X, 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 X. In the bathroom after synecdoche, derealysis of lonely brain, what is left are bodies and ruins of stages we once had set. Place my head upon your shoulder that I may weep and wonder where my hair had gone. I had grown old then, the stage of the grave. I miss my father. I will miss them. We do speak. All that is left are the bodies. The bodies from the splinters, gum disease and famine, the entropy of time, yes, time, I double my own letter for the pain of their ailments, children in hospitals, rich men with their kidneys, gravel, soot and smoke, the flames amuck, water inbound, galleons and steam, and I am alone as the forest torch, the wigs of the ear, the sounds in utero, the babies of the water where once I was too upon the lonely windowsill of time. I, the horrid witness, the best I do to the hands trembling upon the faces of plain clocks hurtling towards the grave, watching the wisps of the yard, the wisps of the yard that play all day and fail in moonlight, August, year of desolation, I hide my anger inside my fear, inside my anger, I have no forethought, the suits with cases watch me as I walk to and from the corner coffee shop, everybody knows. Everybody knows the placing of my apartment, the followers in the fog, the steam, the I cannot do better, I cannot do better, I am not better as the wisps of the yard, the phantom poet, inconsistent to those diagonal words, the phrase of between us. Worse for wear, he was burned atop a crucible pile of tires. Stench of rubber spoke, twist my spine, remove my fluids, drown me within myself and the rotten nectarine porches of houses. I will never see the end of a phantom king, a phantom king's nations of aggression, bombs, drones, hostage, biological warfare, civilian handguns, break-ins, break-ups, camera footage, police state, Nazism, jingoism, national Nationalism, AI, robots in hands, pants have holes, run on sentences, assassination, war, famine, death, skeletal dreams in green rib cages, mass graves of moss, blood in my mug, I drink from fountains of desecration, validity, and psychosis, witnessing myself as a self, witnessing a self, witnessing another body upon my bed, it is time to remove every layer of my skin, reject all forms of power, and watch the wisps upon the yard. There are pulpy itching slops of flash that have gone missing from my back. Even the whisper speaks to itself and lets me be. 
I shall break this keyboard and all the walls with electromagnetic anger and the fury of a million unheard truths. There are no good or bad mountainous ghosts upon the streets of New York City or USA. The, vic the eviction of love from hearts of empty wells dripping with mucus to the pits of Tartarus or the next life. Life in a bucket, my obsession cowers, cowers, cowers upon boxcar heights, hanging from balloons, lost at sea, love gone wrong. Kill the poets. If we shall be remembered only for our deaths, then we shall die looking toward your stupid wall. If we shall be erased by the TV, the radio, film, insta, face, immediacy of millennia, millennia of change, then I too shall erase your barricades from the rooms of the real, from the atrium of the heart. My grave will be a pool of oil set to flame eternally upon the lawn of of the White House, of the psych ward, of the Kremlin, of the towering wings in New York. I shall be monument for the moment of the triumph of delirium over delusion, over syncopation, rhythms of jazz, California nights, pop stars, and ketamine, my head upon your shoulder. I shall grow old in a stupid technophilic orgy where the caves of the vagina are pillaged, the golden tusks of living giants are stolen, thieves in the night committing espionage for the age-old strategic divide and conquer advertisement rules all life shall disappear towards the screen of the computer fuck freedom my hands were guided since before the womb even now i the poem am dictated by the ghost of a zeitgeist appeased by my psychosexual need for creation and self-improvement upon broken keys of the typewriter the observations shall echo throughout the auditoriums of time, hidden within stairwells with no air or windows for all of eternity, and when the civilization falls, the observation will uphold the word. The man I used to be, hidden behind the man I tried to be, the man I should have been the one to help you. I should have been the one to help you. Running eyeliner and a glass of water, 11 p.m. memories flow out of my alcoholic tongue, wisping toward your ear. I should have been the one to help you, I heard you were near, vomit on the highway, taillight out after therapy. I should have been the one to help you in receiving the help of my own self towards the light bulb. I should have been the one to help you when your friend left to uterine parties in the night, pale skin. I should have been the one to help you when he might have slipped something into your drink or into you, botanied bodies tremble among cotton summer. I should have been the one to help you when my lines were misspoken upon the stage of your living room. You woke me in the morning, we ate breakfast, I took a train. I should have helped you, not myself, looked deep into the abyss of desire, the truth of it, what thoughts were desired once upon this life. I should have helped you in helping myself, for the totality of human suffering takes the chains and wire from the ceiling panel. I should have helped you when you cried every night in the heat of anxiety, my shifty eye instead of flirtatiously into the night imbibed the ointment of the skull in the poison of misery. I should have helped you, hands tremble upon keyboards and arguments of diners, 24 minutes of shame. I should have helped you when dimensional tragedy ailed your family or your life. I should have helped you instead of holding a knife to my wrist in the only room on earth waiting for my own help. I should have helped you instead of pills, pills, pills and memories, abstraction or general abuse of mind. I should have helped you look toward the great wreck, that great problem we all have. I should have helped you where you lay at the bottom of the oil muck cavern MDMA embedded in your weeks in your brain embedded centrality I should have helped you when climate rushes over the ponds of a new day I should have helped you to save the effects of that torture I should have helped you in accepting the fear of exhilaration in lonely chamber tenement college apartment where no words are words I should have tied you to a chair when your arms moved on their own when instinct and physical imprints of history trigger cranial spasm I should have watched while you came face to face with the shadow, your shadow, the only shadow there is in the truly fucked mess of the unconscious brain. 
I should have done anything while the portals and realms and Tartarus and dank hideaways and grimy soot sodden alleys or projections of my own shadow led you to junkyards of ruin. I should have done it. I should have extended the inner circle of my shadow to understand your shadow or the collective shadow of the effects of subversive cultural manipulation. I should have, I, I should have helped you when you last drank from the cups of death in downtrodden pajamas. I should have helped you. I should have helped. I should have inhaled in the little box. I should have, I should have I should have acted I should have surrendered to the titan of fear I should have ignored my apprehension the apprehension of my own apprehension and the image of that damned thing I should have given up I should have become shadow and let shadow become me I should have eaten of the flesh should have held the cup to your lips I should have made the right decision no no, no, no right decision. I shouldn't have let you wither into emptiness. I shouldn't have ignored the message, the message, the only message. There is but one message from the pit where the shadow originates. And I now live in the holy, holy matchbook fireplace, the message. I shouldn't have let the animals run the country. I shouldn't have taken that job. I shouldn't have sweated long days alone in apartment hut. I shouldn't have guessed the answer to the question of the apprehensive message. I shouldn't have let my hair grow old. Shouldn't have let my brain go soft shouldn't have let my cock go limp in the sad bathroom of infinity shouldn't have let my personality overtaken by personality shouldn't have burdened the building with my leisure shouldn't have ignored the pleas the cries the pleas for help shouldn't have abased myself in winter shouldn't have cut my skin from my arms and laid uncovered in the snow shouldn't have let my obsessions become my obsessions become my reality shouldn't have let the reality crumble and destroy all the other realities like snowfall in a October shouldn't have let the witches weird witches set curses to my car shouldn't have let the dictators execute five million innocents shouldn't have left Boston for rubble shouldn't have let New York control me control us shouldn't have let it control us shouldn't have thought myself invalid outcast brethren black spots on wrists, wrists of scars, shouldn't have ignored the carpal tunnel in the carnal tunnel of the womb, shouldn't have let the limbs of a ghost touch my body and feel the crevices of my heart palpitations, I should have helped you, I shouldn't, I should have let it die, I shouldn't, I should have euthanized this country, I should have eradicated America, I should, I should, I should, I should have, I should have been, I should have been you. I come across the end of time, a puppet possessed with the end of time. Thank you. Give me one second. All right. Thank you all for that. Okay. Um, allow me to introduce our next act, uh, Ella Ray Kondrat. Ella Ray's self-generated genre blends her background in Eastern European a cappella arrangements with the beauty of cat power and the heartache of Mozzie Star. The Kingston, New York-based performer is currently recording her debut full-length album Hum to Your Heart, scheduled for an autumn 2018 release. Ooh, that is soon. I'm excited. Um, with no further ado, or foreplay, or whatever you want to call it, I like to use the word foreplay because I think it's funny. Uh, give it up for Ella Ray Kondrat, everybody.
Chandrat. And um, thank you, Noah David Roberts. That was an awesome poem. Um, and thank you, Elena. That was, I felt like both of the preceding acts have really transported me, and that's awesome. So, whoop. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna sing you some songs.
I did I did my most complex tuning to start with, so that way I'm not like going to be tuning the entire time. Okay. This next song is called I Married Columbus. I might, not, I might have to tune again.
So especially as we're having the hearings for Brett Cav and I, I feel like that. I mean, that song's always pretty appropriate. <laughs> Something's always going on. All right. Uh, next, I can do this one. So this song is kind of a response to the last song in a way. Um, the last song is looking backwards. This next song is about looking forwards.
song. Um, how much time do I have? Does anyone know? No. Does anyone know? Uh, you're at 19 minutes. Okay. Just like two more songs, maybe. Oh, man. It's all right. All right, all right, all right. Um, should I do like a slower one or like a slightly more energized one? Energized. Energized? Okay. Let's do energized. Energy, energy. Okay. Oops. I always forget to that I'm in drop D and I remember um, so I do have uh, an album that's in the works and I just which is exciting and uh, I think I'm gonna play the title song that'll be my last song but um, if anyone is interested in pre-ordering I just did an Indiegogo but I'm still doing pre-orders so talk to me if you're interested and also I had, um, I have other, like from my Indiegogo, I had, well, any contribution, I'll sing your name as I jump into a pond at some point at the end, towards the end of the summer. So that, that's always useful. <laughs> and then, um, I have a, I, I'll write you a song, you know, um, with your theme or whatever, whatever you want. So, uh, different ideas. And I have t-shirts, really cool t-shirts coming, so. Also, it's not out yet, but I'm gonna put out my uh, mailing list sign up. So if you want to get on my mailing list, it'll, I think I'll put it on that table over there. Bad.
necessary, buddy. Um, this is really great, and um, thanks, David, for putting this together, and it's just an amazing, it's just amazing to have all these different genres of art and different wells of inspiration to draw from. As a creative person, it's really awesome. And thanks, thanks, Aaron. Yeah, you too.
That was fucking entrancing, am I right? Give her another round of applause, everybody. Alright, allow me to introduce our next act. Peter Aaron and Bill Brovold. <laughs> yeah. uh, Bill Brovold is an educator, visual artist, and composer slash musician. He has performed with Rice Chatham, Arthur Russell, and Glenn, Glenn Branca. And he has led the New York band Strange Farm and the six to 13 member Detroit post rock band Larval, which features his twangy guitar alongside a wall of sound onslaught of horns and strings. He has released music on John Zord's, uh, Zorn's Avant and Sadik imprints. Don't know how to pronounce that. Oh, all right. And the Cuneiform Knitting Factory and Rare Noise labels. His most recent releases for the Public Eyesore label see him paring down his sound for more inter intimate surroundings, closer to what he might do with a few friends in someone's living room. Peter Aaron is a noise, rock, free, improvising musician and author. He is the founder, lead vocalist, and guitarist of the influential New York band The Chrome Cranks, who have released albums on Crypt, PCP Entertainment, Aw Go Go, Sympathy for the Record Industry, Bang, Hozak, Thick, stri thick Syrup, and other labels. Wow, that's a lot of labels. His past projects include the hardcore bands Sand in the Face and Sluggo, and the psychedelic guitar duo Avondale Air Force. Those are some dope names. Currently, he performs with Hudson Valley Trio, The Young Skulls, with Yeah Yeah Yeah's drummer Brian Chase, in the Free Noise Project, a Peter Aaron Briar Brian Chase duo whose debut album Purges appeared on the Public Eyesore label in 2016. The soundtrack he recorded with drummer Bobby Previte for the indie horror film The Furies Inside Me is set for release in 2018. Give it up for Peter Aaron and Bill Brovold, everybody.
Jacksboro in the year of 73 a man by the name of Kriego came stepping up to me he said how do you do young fellow and how would you like to go and spend the summer pleasant in the hills of the buffalo Well me being out of employment To old Kriego I did say Going out on the buffalo range Depends upon the pay but if you pays good wages and transportation to and fro, well, yes, sir, I might go with you to the hills of the buffalo. Well, yes, sir, I pays good wages and transportation too provided you will go with me and stay the summer through but if you should get homesick and go back to Jacksboro well I won't pay your transportation from the hills of the buffalo Our outfit was soon completed Seven able-bodied men Me and them six other ones Our trip it did begin it was a pleasant one The way we had to go Until we crossed Peace River In the hills of the Buffalo Now when we crossed Peace River Our troubles they begun First damn tail I went to rip Christ I cut off a piece of my thumb The fleas and graybacks were on us And they did not go slow While the Indians was waiting to pick us up In the hills of the buffalo Our summer being about over, oh, creep. 
just come on. That's fun, but I got one in my seat in my car. Um, I don't know. Let's do something. Um, yeah. to think I could read between perhaps my brains have turned to sand oh me oh my I think it's been an eternity you'd be surprised at my degree of uncertainty Perhaps my brains are old and scrambled. (laughs) ¶¶ 
What do you think?